guys, welcome back to Impact Learning Study uh, Bootcamp Program. Today what we're looking at is um, the classic, School Diary. Now, a lot of you may think it's a ridiculous piece of paper that you're carrying around your bag, it's extra weight with all your textbooks and everything like that, uh, but I want to give you a little bit of an insight as to a couple of different things um, that we took a look at. Uh, first of all, being human beings, there are times in life where things just, your workload fluctuates, family asks things, friends want things, and there's so much going on in your life that you kind of lose track of everything that's going on. One thing I found out uh, last year actually, I was uh, doing a Cert 4 in which I was um, studying uh, Cert 4 on small business. And so there was a fair amount of workload in that that I had to do assessments and everything, major work, projects and deadlines, everything I had to meet. And I thought, ah, it's quite easy in itself. But at the same time, I was also running another business, um, helping out my family, and I had a lot of other projects going on, so things were quite crazy. And what I found was, in the class, everyone else who was in the class with me was pretty chilled out, they were working part-time if that, um, and really not doing that much, so for them it was a, pretty much a, a relatively easy walk in the park, in theory, to organise. Um, I was the only person in the class who used a diary for organisation. I was the only person who handed everything in early let alone on time, um, most of them were handing in things late, and I was also the only person who finished everything in the course. So yeah. Now, here's the next best part. I would spend half an hour tops a day doing homework, they would spend three hours a day. So that's the value of organisation. Because of what was in my diary, I knew that even in class alone, I could flick my diary out if there was something in class that was going on that I didn't need, or I had extra spare time in class, I could open my diary and see what was next on my plate and just start working on that there and there to cash in on the time. I was in class anyway. I was stuck in there. May as well cash in on it. So yeah, that's the value of a diary. And for me, what I found is it actually saved my free time. At the end of the day, I got home and I got to work on my old stuff and I wasn't staying up to all hours of the night doing homework. On the odd occasion that I did come home and do homework, here's the next best part. I didn't have to think about it. You know, all the time when you come home, you're like, man, what have I got homework today? What subjects did I have? That's time wasted. It's time you're thinking about school that you're just wasting there. It's time that school's taking up out of your free time. I come home over my diary and there's a list of exactly what I have to do in detail. Step by step by step, and I do that and as soon as it's done, I'm out. There's no thinking time, there's no extra umming and ahhing time, there's no time wasted whatsoever on school. And so that's the value of it. In your diary, it is crucial that you write things out in detail. It's not just what it is, but the specific things to it. So if you've got maths homework, it needs to be maths homework. You exercise C, chapter 11, page 31, questions, blah, 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 blah. It needs to be specific. It needs to be specific in that for every single piece of homework. Now, when we start writing these things down and doing this formula, every time you give them a task, you put it in your diary. Every time you give them a task, you put it in your diary. It may only be one task and you could remember that one task, but there are times when things stress you out or something better comes up or whatever and you forget about it. And then you haven't done it. And then you've got a backlog of work to do and you've got to catch up. Secondly, how can you really evaluate your workload ahead of you when it comes to projects? Because I don't know about you guys, but I found in school they gave me four assignments and classically due to time. Be different subjects, but like it's like, oh yeah, I got this assignment, oh yeah, I got this assignment, and next thing you know, all four are due in the same week. And because you left it to the last minute, it's like, oh god, I've got to pull all nighters every night to finish it off. That's a classic. If it's in your diary, you know what's coming. Here's the second best part to your diary, is when you put it in there, you write it as the due date. That's the first thing you do. Step one, write in the date it's due. Step two, write out a list of all the tasks and all the parts that you have to do for that piece of thing. Research drafts, final copies, um, the actual work, whatever it is, you break it down into the steps that you have to do. Then you actually allocate a prior to the due date into which specific days you're going to do it. Now when you do this, you become really, really efficient. So every time you go home from school, you've then got a list of exactly what you have to do. So you sit down and it may be an hour's work and you sit down for an hour and you get it done and then that's it. You're then free. Too many times I've seen students come in who claim to do three hours of homework a day, and yet after a couple of weeks of spending with me looking at how they do it, it's all of a sudden an hour. We piss so much time down the toilet digging around, really. When you focus and you organize and structure your homework, you get it done as soon as humanly possible, and as fast as possible, you get your free time back, and that's the essential part. Face it, you're teenagers, you're kids, 
go have some fun, let's muck around. Let's go do some more fun stuff. Let's go down to the park. Let's go chill out on Facebook, whatever. Go to the movies with friends. Do it guilt-free. Get your stuff organized, get it out of the way, and get your free time back. Simple as that. So, simple basis. Write down the due date, break it down to the tasks that have to be done, allocate those tasks to the days you're going to do them. Now, if you get to the end of a day after school and you've got a list of work to do, what you do is when you've completed the work, you highlight it. Now, if you haven't highlighted it, it means you haven't finished it. So what you would do is then you would then cross it out with a pen and you would rewrite it in the next day or the next day that you're going to do it. This keeps a steady flow of work. Now, I'm in business now and I do the exact same thing. I just do it digitally using uh, project management systems. And every single time a task doesn't get done by its due date, I then reallocate it to another date. And if it gets done, I tick it off as complete. That way I always know what works in front of me, I always know what's coming up, and I'm in control of everything else being done. So it's about organization. It's not just about organizing yourself, it's about learning how to structure tasks and organization and planning your time because that's what eventually, if you want to become a manager one day or a boss or anything like that, you need to have this skill down packed because not only do you have to do it for yourself, you've got to do it for all the people that work for you. Now, that's a whole other ball game. So you can't organize yourself, how do you expect to organize them? If you want to become a manager or a boss one day, and you want to do the least amount of work possible, you've got to be really good at organizing their time, which means you've got to be really good at organizing yours. That's how it works. Due date, break down the tasks, allocate the tasks, highlight them when complete, if they're not complete, cross them out and reallocate them. Simple as that, that is how you optimize your diary. All right guys, good job, keep it up, and I look forward to hearing your success rates with it. Thanks.